Welcome back, everybody. Drone Six Awake plays. We're playing Rogue Trader here. Um, just got done with a really big, long battle. This is heavy leather armor. Uh, I don't think I'm really going to need heavy leather armor anymore. But we'll just take it all now. Um, cleaned up this mess. I have to go back this way. Sorts of stuff here. Gunslinger's helmet. Grants the Rangers wearers ranged attacks a plus two times rate of fire percentage damage. So put that with uh, somebody like Argeno who can shoot many times or Jay. Two times rate of fire percentage. She's like, like a seven and a six. <clears throat> so she'd get like 14 points. 12 to 14 percent more damage. I might give that to Jay. They have splinter pistols. Okay, let's take this. Uh, more people here. And this is all junk. I don't really need these power malls. <sighs> splinter pistols. What's this? Radiant chest plate. Heavy armor. No dodging when you wear heavy armor. Plus seven to your fellowship. Okay, well, we'll take all that and figure out where it goes later. Let's look at the map. Oh, there's some people Is back that here I missed. To be made? That's right, these are... These dudes didn't get picked up in the other one. So we'll grab them. Lift all those, and then we gotta get this guy. He's the, the lead rain. He just had heavy armor and... Nullifying shotgun. Okay. Well, they're way back Always here in the keep corner. Your eye on the price. How did they miss that? There's no waste time with oh, good. That's gonna be just something for my buckets, right? A multi key and stuff for my buckets. Got a lot of stuff in my buckets. I probably need to go find somebody to do tr trading with. Get my reputations up. All right, where are we at? All right, so they all came from back up here. Let us not dawdle. So we need to go run around here, and then we can go back to the ship. We need to go find out what's up here. I see a goods box back there, but I'm assuming I'm going to be running into traps or something. Is that it? Oh, there's a door over there. Oh, there's a door. Nice. Ranger's visor. Eldaria equipment. Oh, we're going to... You know who that's getting handed to. Yeah, that's going to your lap for sure. Map around. I didn't miss anything yet, did I? No. But there's a door. There's a door. We have opened the door. Are we walking into a huge battle? What have I done? What was that? We already knew that we were going up a level. What is in here? Keep your wits about you. There's another door over there. None of this is stuff. What the heck? I don't understand. 
I always have a backup plan. Athletics 100%? I don't... Okay, I guess I'm confused. Oh. Why do I have to do athletics there? <laughs> Nothing's impossible for this old officer. Unexpected result. I don't know why it's making me show up with those funny little colors, but... Okay, so... What did I miss? Experience. Nothing matters more. What am I missing here? I always keep my options open. Rise to the top or get left in the dust. Is there something hiding in this back little corner here? What advice do you seek? Oh no, it's just this back here. Okay. So, there really isn't anything else in here, right? Shall we just go back to the door? So I guess that's all there is in this station. I didn't find anything interesting. So go back to my ship. It's my time. We're only seven minutes in for us to loot and explore the station. So maybe we'll take some time to try and level us up. So now everything should be explored here, right? All right, so everything's explored here. We can go flying off to Never Neverland, but let's go. Shall we go do some leveling up here? Should have everybody, right? Okay. So we'll just start with me and go forward. So what happens to me if I go into here? Just one level, one rank. Uh, oh, this is where you get your special ability thingy. One of these. They took the kill zone. Overwhelming. That area inflict overwhelmed effect on any enemy that fails a willpower resistance test for a round. Minus five plus two times my intelligence bonus, which is four, and my fellowship bonus, which is four. So eight times two is 16 plus five, 21 to their ballistic skill, a quarter of their rate of fire, and uh, it would be 4 and 4 is 8, 13 weapon skill. Melee creatures have their movement points reduced by 3. Range creatures try to get behind cover. Creature counts as a melee creature if it has at least one melee weapon, and this additional effect does not work on some stronger enemies. Okay. Stronghold of the Grand Church chooses one of the combat tactics area for one round. Allies in that area gain 3 plus... Uh, so it would be 8 divided by 2, 4%, 7% armor, cannot be overpenetrated, gain immunity to the prone effect, and gain uh, 4, 8 divided by 4, 2 deflection against area attacks. It doesn't suffer injuries for receiving damage. Oh, that's not bad. Stretch line. Combat areas for one round, all areas, allies in that area gain cover efficiency and reworld all characteristic tests. And the cover in the area does not suffer damage. Combat focus. Combat areas are one round. Target areas bonuses are doubled. All the areas, other areas that go away. Then blitz. One combat area for one round, all allies within range. 
of my intelligence and my fellowship bonus. So everybody within eight rounds, eight moves, sells, gains the ability to move to that area. This movement does not promote attacks of opportunity and does not spend movement points. So basically I can pull everybody together to a strategy area. If for some reason that would be a good idea. Well, I like this. I kind of like this that every once in a while you're just getting totally wailed on or somebody might be out in front. I could move an area to them and put this on to give them a chance to survive whatever the enemy's going to do. So I think I'm going to take Stronghold. So that's going to be that. That means everybody down the line. So Argenta, you're going to get an Arch Militant thing. Oh, you get a skill too. Oh, what was I going to do with Argenta? Okay, first off, she's got to choose one of these. She took Wildfire. Devastating attack is... All the targets to make toughness resistance stunts with a... Two, ty what? two times her ballistic bonus, which is 6 is 12. Penalty. Uh, failed, the targets will suffer a negative effect based on the attack type. Impact dodge knocks them down. Piercing and rending damage inflicts bleeding and slowed to the end of combat. Energy and all other damage effects blind the card to the end of combat. Power swords and power axes count as both energy and rending. Power hammers count as both energy and impact. Attacks that combine several types of damage will benefit from each additional effect. She pretty much does piercing damage with her bolter, right? That might be nice. Uh, I wanted to take one of these. Because supposedly you get to like keep some of these, uh, some of her abilities go based on having these, and she doesn't have any, any of these. Cautious approach until the end of combat. Use bonuses from versatility. The Archmantle gains plus five minutes of terror to every stack. Just four or more, she moves all slowed, blinded, bleeding, burning, and toxin effects from themselves. Comes amused to these effects as well as stunned and prone for the long as the Archmantle keeps the cautious approach. Active. Okay. She goes confident, which is more like my girl here, my my sister of battle. <clears throat> Instead of the usual bonuses and resistance, she gains plus five dodge reduction and parry reduction, and ignores five percent of enemy cover for every stack. All of her attacks score critical hits, but the archmantle's critical damage for those attacks is modified by fifty minus. Critical chance, critical hit chance divided by two. So that's going to depend on circumstances. So it's probably going to be about 40. She's going to do close to only 60% damage at best. If the Arch Militant already has four or more stacks of versatility, the Arch Militant's attacks always deal maximum damage as long as the Arch Militant keeps the confident approach and back to back. Doesn't do quite as much critical damage, but she's gonna she's gonna score critical hits if she. Well, I mean, this is Argenta. She's gonna do confident approach, right? This is Argenta. Okay, she's done with that. Oh, now she gets to do this. I can't remember what I was gonna do with her. What was I gonna do with her? A purification. Damage equal to the momentum restored to the devotee while using this ability. <laughs> Let me purification. Uh, the emperor protects. Four percent chance to ignore an enemy attack. <laughs> four percent. Yeah, I don't trust four percent. Four times her willpower bonus so would be 16% to armor against attacks of demons and warp damage. Also permanently increased by WP bonus divided by two. So four divided by two should be increased by two. So it would be seven. Mm -hmm. uh, was there anything else I was thinking of doing with her? Not really. 
Well, I think she's already a. Is she already a bolt weapon? Master? Yeah, she's already got the bolt weapon ex uh, expert thing. So, the only thing I was thinking, she's already got. She can do Medicaid if I remember to give her stuff. Uh. So I don't see... Can't get up her ballistic skill anymore. I could take her weapon skill up. Oh, toughness. That's what I was going to do. I was going to do toughness so I can put that... that uh... Oh, she's already done it. Dang, damn it. I can't do it. Dang, dang, dang. I gotta wait till she gets like a characteristic. Which isn't until here. Oh, bloody heck. Dum 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 me. I didn't realize she'd already taken that, so I can't do it again. I was hoping if you got to a new wheel, you could do it again. Alright, so way back here when I took this weapon skill, I should have taken toughness. So I could use that bracelet thing. Okay. Well, or that necklace. She could take willpower. I don't think I'd want to do that. Combat Master. Um, I don't think she can take Eldari equipment, can she? No, she needs to have Lore Xenos. I don't see her ever using Eldari equipment. You can change games like that if you want, but... Okay, so... No, no heresy. Lower Xenos and Lower Warp is always zero. It's already bad enough. Melee, Flame, and Melta attacks against Demons and Psychers deal an additional two times weapon willpower bonus of eight. Damage and gain six times the bonus, so six times eight, which is 48. Armor penetration. Against Dinos, deal additional four damage and gain three times that, so 24. So against uh, Demons, Psychers, and Xenos, she's going to do more damage with Flensing Fate. Does she have Melted Guns? Does she have the ability to use a melter gun? M is right. Melter weapon proficiency. I could make her a melter weapon expert and give her a melter gun. To go with her. There's no good things here. kind of like this. It gets more damage against demons, psychers. Yeah, we'll go flensing faith. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Apply that to her. Alright. Abelard, my doy. My guy, my guy, my guy. My vanguard. You get two things as well. You get to choose a skill. I got you and uh, Genta mixed up. Wall of Rock Crete. Temporary wounds. Ten times, plus two times the number of beacon stacks. So, like, normally it'll be two, maybe three, maybe four. Percent parry until the next turn. Whenever the Vanguard parries an enemy attack, they immediately make an attack of opportunity with a minus 20 penalty weapon skill against that enemy. So let him get some more shots in. It's forced distraction. All enemies in the three zones around this alley must make a willpower resistance test with a minus five times his fellowship bonus, which is a three, so fifteen. Penalty on a failed test, the vanguard becomes their priority target. Regardless of willpower resistance test, chosen ally does not provoke attacks of opportunity from these enemies, can shoot enemies in melee range, and moves as if, as if not within range of attacks of opportunity. Uh, 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 that's not a bad thing to have. Although I kind of like this one. People come charging and whacking on him, then he can whack right back, right? Swing on me, I swing on you. 
They hear. They want me to take carouse and coercion. Persuasion, commerce, athletics. I could just make him ridiculous on athletics, take him up to 90. He's already got carouse up at 70, so maybe we'll take coercion up. Although carouse gives you by poison stimulators or alcohol. So what would help him against poison? Let's help him against poison, shall we? We'll have him be good against poison. And now you're my bounty hunter. Bounty hunter number one. You just get an ability. Uh, you've taken Call of Bold. I'm thinking Piercing Shot. Because 4% 4, 4 times 2 is 8% armor penetration. The next tech that hits a target marked as prey is always a critical hit. That's what I like about Piercing Shot. So you're going to take Piercing Shot. And you're done. Cassia, you're a Master Tactician. So all you get is... So that's all that Jay's going to get too, right? Um, you don't have Inspire. I really do like the Inspire thing. So it's either that or she goes for one of her. From 1 plus 2 times willpower bonus. Two times six is 12. 2 times 6 is 12. 13 to 4 times 6 24. 6 30. So from... 13 to 30 damage to an enemy. Best will runners are become immobilized until the start of the next turn. So I give her another attack ability. Much of purpose. Okay. Target ally gets four times their willpower bonus, 24. To their willpower and toughness until the end of combat. Ooh. Which give people basically base hit points because it would raise their toughness up by a couple points. You get like 5% for every bonus point. Or something like that. It'll be on time. Okay, uh, if you have visual beyond time, it marks the target. Enemy targets will pass willpower resistance test to avoid this. The second use returns the target to the position where it was during the first use, restores its wounds to the state they were at during that time. So you could have, like, Abelard have that once from her. He goes and charges, get himself beat up by being surrounded or whatever, and then she uses it a second time on Abelard. He goes back to where he started the charge from. Ooh. There's some nice stuff in here. I just wish I knew how to use it all. Reveal the light, I kind of like. Because it raises up people's willpower, which is what you need against, like, warp stuff. And toughness, which is just gives you more wounds. Not temporary wounds, just wounds. Plain old person. Plain old, plain old. And held in my gaze is you can basically immobilize one guy. Oh, man. And then she's got these up here, which are really hard to come by. So I actually think I'm going to go take Inspire here. I think those are impor more important. To be able to get that 5% damage for every 10 stacks. It's like 5% plus 5 and a plus 5 for every 10 stacks. So if she's got 20 stacks, she's giving you 15% more damage. I think that's more important at this point. Okay. And Jay. Jay. 
Thank you. She's going to get another ability. She's already taken the Inspire one. So... Stacks. So she can get people's resolve up. By the beginning of the match starts next turn. Ally gains 10 plus 2 times allies resolved. 2 times allies resolve. Momentum and a plus 5 to all characteristics until the end of combat. Let's finish the job. Can only be used on enemies with the unfinished business. Okay. Fervor. 20% of their maximum wounds gains Master Tactician's Resolve stacks of tactical advantage and resets the cooldown of Lynchman and Fire and Crunk. But until the end of the Master Tactician's turn, these abilities can only target the Master Tactician themselves. Okay. Uh. Gives up temporary wounds, but we get a lot of those to start with, don't we? Uh. Uh. I guess we'll go with Lynchpin. Okay. Now I got some more people out here. Yulette is in the Bounty Hunter. Uh, she already had Piercing. I'm going to give her Call the Vault. Because she gets extra damage from that. That was, pretty, that was a pretty easy one for her. He's an Assassin, which is a little different. He gets a skill... Awareness is only at 40, so you might need to bring that up. He's got lore. Xenos at 60. His warp's a little low. I find it really odd that he has an, you have an Inquisitor that has lore Imperium at 30. <laughs> I mean, isn't that like a requirement that it be like at 40 or 50 because you are the Imperium? Um, awareness is the thing that Find things. Oh, I don't know. I guess. I don't know who I would be taking in some of these mixes. I mean, awareness is just safe. Because there's more eyes on trying to find things. His intelligence is only a 30. His awareness is on perception, which is a 40. I guess we will take awareness. And then he gets skilled here. He's got the elusive shadow. What does fainting attack do? First soul. See, now I can do some of this stuff down here. I don't know what to do. Do combat. Targets within the area suffer five times three times the psi rating, which would be six. So eleven penalty to strength and agility, and two times the psi rating, which would be four seven percent increase to all incoming damage. That's not bad. Figure eight. Restores. That's like a, uh, a casting of a heal. 
rather than using a medikit. Um, willpower resistance test. All their movement points to move as close as possible toward the psychic. They can act as normal, but all their movement points are spent on moving toward the psychic. At the end of their turn, the target must make a willpower resistance test again, or otherwise they remain under this effect. Sensory deprivation. Basically, you can blind somebody. Pyromancy. It's got biomancy and telepathy. I wonder if I should take this in feeble. Area effect within a 10 cell radius. Like you could just like throw it up on some place where there's a bunch of guys coming and mess them all up. This is this is this is this, this one I can't take because. Why? What was my requisitions? I have my psi rating. Psi rating plus one, which I have. Hammer of the Emperor or Light of the Emperor. So I have to take Hammer or Light, which I can't get because I need to be Verge of Soul or Shield of the Emperor. So Verge of Soul. Deals from one plus Psycho Psi ratings plus two plus one. So that's three plus one is Four times resolve, which is five. So three times five is fifteen. Sixteen divided by four is four. And then four plus the same damn it. Same number direct damage. Fifty percent against the animals, hundred percent against chaos worshippers or Dukari, hundred and fifty percent against demons, and by fifty percent. If the enemy has already damaged the Psyker or any of the Psykers of allies this combat, this damage bonuses also affect any damage bonuses from other sources. This power does not affect targets that lack souls. So, not demons? It says demons. I thought demons didn't have souls. I'm confused. And I'm at 32 minutes, so I need to kind of hurry up here. Um, I think we are going to take... I like Elusive Shadow. These are nice. But I really think I want to go Purge the Soul. Alright, we'll go Purge the Soul. You're done. And then she comes up. She's also an assassin. She's going to take... Her awareness is 75. Xenos is the lowest... Logic, Medicaid, Tech Use, Lore Warp. I guess we'll, her awareness is already 75. Well, if I'm taking her, she'll be an 85 then, right? Alright, let's put her awareness up. She's got Elusive Shadow as well, but I'm thinking that maybe she needs to take one of these things here. Prescience. Precognition. Yeah, if she's near the end, then she could say, no, move me up by two. I'm confused how you would get two rounds that way. Dominate is obvious. 
since we already went through two firestorm Molten Beam or Inflame. She can't have Molten Beam. She has to go get the Orchestrate Flames, I think. Or Firestorm. Orchestrate Flames says, Target does not stop burning and no longer makes tests to stop burning. And an ally every melee attack that ally makes inflicts full burning damage on targets of their attack while they themselves not only suffer half burning damage from ally. Uh, and then Firestorm is Warp Burner Burning. Everyone adjacent to the target point suffers the effects of Ignite Psychic Power. Okay. I don't know. They do not start burning, and this one says they start burning everybody around them. Okay. Uh, or I can do some of these things. Let's turn. They will suffer lethality divided by 10, rending damage that ignores armor and deflection. Do dodge or dodge reduction. Dodge. Dodge reduction. It's terrible. So dodge is 75, so it'd be 7.5 points of damage. That looks nice. Um, <sighs> I think if I was going to do anything, I probably would go with, like, Firestorm. Somebody can throw a fire grenade, and then she can do this and ignite other people because it opens up this stuff if I take one of these <sighs> we're going to take firestorm I don't know she's divination of this and as far as divination goes that's this one in here no this one here Yeah, let's take the fire thing. All right. And that's everybody. And then we're going to put a cut in because it took me a long time to go through everybody there. So, uh, we will head out of this system next time. Uh, if you like what you see, hit the thumbs up button. If you like to see, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notify bell. You notified upload videos under scheduled streams. Looks like I need to put a little repair on my ship before I go off to the next system as well. All right. All right, we're at 35 uh, profit factor, and we have a bunch of stuff here that I need to probably build up my supplies of more of this stuff. All right, which means I need to get more extractums. All right, I'm Dread608. Until we meet again, stay safe, and bye-bye.